It's very important to know about women's history because until just recently, history was literally that. It was his story. It was very important for women to gain equal rights. Women were citizens of the, the country. They contributed to the building of this nation. They had suffered. They had built new communities. They had borne the children of the pioneers. And they deserved the same right as anyone else to vote. The role of women is to get married, have children, raise them. And of course, outside the home, we didn't work. Men of that time went out and, and uh, fished and hunt, and went you know, out in the forest and tried to make a living for the families. Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony were really the forerunners in the women's rights movement. Uh, they worked as a team and I think it was important that that showed that women could work together to accomplish something. One was a writer, one was the person who gave the speeches. Uh, they both came from different types of lives. Uh, one had children, one was single, but they worked together for a cause that was important to both of them and I think it showed other women that they too could work on something that was important to them. Mae Stocking Eggs became a statewide leader in the suffrage movement. We don't have details on when and how this started, but it could have dated back to a visit by uh, Elizabeth Cady Stanton to Bay City in 1872, and Mae Stocking Eggs was living here at the time. And um, Mae uh, Stocking Eggs was, of course, interested in extending the role of women in the community. But the best way to ensure that was to see to it that women got the right to vote. Because in getting the right to vote, they had power over the selection of candidates who were clearly worthy compared to those who were crooks. One of the values in uh, my life was from generation to generation, education and religion. Those two were tantamount in our family. You serve God and you work yourself silly in school in order to excel. School was very serious, it was not a plaything. My interest in medicine really developed out of a love for science. My original thought was to become a veterinarian, but I realized that that would be my hobby and not my life passion. So when I decided to become a physician, I started looking at the physicians in town and they were pediatricians. And I said, can I shadow you? And I was shadowing the head pediatrician and he was asking me why I wanted to spend that long in school, it really wasn't necessary. And if I liked science so much, perhaps I'd want to be a teacher because he really felt that I had the qualities to be a really good wife someday. And I listened, but I also felt I could be a good wife and a good physician. I don't really consider myself a pioneer uh, because I just do the best job that I can. Uh, I have heard, however, that there are other women and um, daughters of friends that I know that actually look up to me to say I wanted to be able to do that. So maybe I am, but I don't consider myself a pioneer because I just am doing my job and doing the best that I can. I decided um, to join the military after high school because quite frankly I, I had no place to go. Once I completed basic I went off to um, my individual training school down in Huntsville, Alabama. I had heard rumors that uh, there was a bomb squad unit uh, opening its doors here at Camp Grayling, Michigan and back in 1987 I made some calls and once they found out they had a qualified uh, bomb tech they said opened their doors and said, come on up here, we need you. I got to this position because opportunity was provided to me. And when those doors opened, I tried to enter. And once I got into that next position, whether it was captain or a major, I certainly had to work very hard. I had to prove myself. And I had to take care of my people and my equipment. And because I took care of people, the next door was open. The glass ceiling breaking through that is really important for women and the glass ceiling is a statement that actually came out in the 80s and they were using it specifically for women. It's an invisible barrier 
but now it applies to all kinds of people in different walks of life.